Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to walk you through the process of setting up automatic uh, ECU data logging on your Holly HP or Dominator. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, it's really useful as a drag racer and it's even useful on the street. You can data log with no laptop. It'll just automatically do it when you need it to do it. So there's two different ways that I'm going to show you to do it. Uh, one requires some wiring, the other does not. So we'll start off uh, with the non-wiring style. You simply go to data log, set up ECU logging. Log type of normal data log is good. And your start method, you want to use triggered. Uh, the logging rate is fine. The max log time is how long it's going to record after it hits the trigger. So for a drag race pass, 25 seconds ought to be plenty to sit in the staging beams for a minute or two, make the pass and capture the whole pass. I think a Prius could do it in that amount of time. So we'll leave that, at we'll put that at 25. Uh, the input I care about is I'm gonna go for TPS, throttle position sensor. Anything greater than 95, I wanna start a data log. So uh, when my T, when basically when I go wide open throttle, it's gonna record data for 25 seconds. Um, click okay and you're ready to go. You put that, you obviously got to put the global file back in your car um, if you're not sitting in your car when you're doing this. But that's really all there is to it. Uh, it'll record the data logs to the ECU. You'll have to download them with the laptop when you're ready to look at them. But that's all there is to that method. Uh, the other method is slightly more complicated, but it's also, to me, I find that it's a little more useful. So. I like to start a data log as soon as I push the two-step and trans brake button. So that way I can see it come up on the trans brake and capture the whole pass. So the idea is pretty similar to what we just did, but it's based on that input from the button for my trans brake. That's the difference. So you'll need a button and you'll need a wire to one of your inputs. So on this one, we're going to go to System, and we're going to go to Basic I.O. Um, you can see this Data Log tab out here, so you want to click that one. When you come into this, this will be unchecked. Diagnostic Type of 1 is fine. Um, you want to check this Enable Input for Internal ECU Log. What that means, that's creating an input channel, we'll say, for, for your wire, your button. So we'll check that. So again, in system parameters, we need to go to the inputs and outputs now that we've created that. And in that, we'll now see an ECU log trig. So that's what we just turned on. So now it's looking for either 12 volt or ground to trigger that. Um, in my case, it's a 12 volt. So now that we've defined that, we need to go to pin map. Now we see this ECU log trig unassigned input up here. Um, we need to take that and put it on one of these inputs down here. Uh, it doesn't too much matter which one you choose, but um, on mine, I also have the two-step on that. So A12 on my car is my two-step input. Uh, so I put this on the same thing as that. So there we go. Now, a12, you'll need to wire into that your 12 volts on the button, and that will trigger your ECU log to happen. Go to the data log tab up there, say set up ECU logging. Um, same normal data log. It's a little misleading, but we want to go to immediate. And what that means is it will immediately start after the ECU log trig occurs. So, um, if you don't have an ECU log trig, it just starts recording as soon as the car starts. And I guess just records. It's, it's kind of silly. I don't know why you do it that way. But uh, immediate means that when the ECU log trig happens, when you push the button, it starts recording and it records for the max log time. Uh, same thing with logging rate. So that's really, that that's all you need to do to set up your automatic data logging from, from an input, from a button input. So you say, okay, same thing. So those are the two methods to record a data log. There are others too. You can, you can um, 
you can do it with your laptop. Of course, that's not an ECU data log, but you can also trigger it through a touch screen if you have that. But um, it's pretty useful, like I said, for drag racing. So um, if anything's unclear, please leave me some comments down there. I'll be happy to clarify or explain in more detail. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Uh, if it is, like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.